certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. Good afternoon. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Diane Phillips on this First Alert weather day. Yes, the heat is here. The humidity is underway and we are finding that we are going to be talking about this summer heat, the heat wave that is here all week long. Actually, we did add Thursday into your First Alert weather day routine. So it's not just Wednesday or Monday through Wednesday. It's Monday today through Thursday. We do have excessive heat that we're waiting for. I'm sure you've already felt it if you've been outside. Some of the feels like temperatures during the peak heat in the afternoon, still talking mid 90s, upper 90s, even triple digits going to be possible. So if you don't have air conditioning and you're thinking, OK, at night it'll cool down a little bit. I'm going to find some relief. Very little of it because we're still going to find 70s and sometimes mid 70s overnight. So it's going to be a really hard time for us to cool things down. But some isolated downpours are going to be possible with this heat. Things are going to bubble up into the afternoon, so that may help us to bring a little bit of cooling and relief but it's not going to be to everybody. It's going to be pretty spotty. So as far as your comfort cast goes, you're going to be using adjectives like ugh, muggy and sticky because that's just what it's going to feel like here to start out this week. I anticipate Thursday. This is going to climb. I think comfy is a little too optimistic in the forecast. Maybe the data is even getting a little too burnout on this heat, but you can see Friday. We're right back in it with the humidity. So still plan on the heat, the humidity all here during the work week. The next five days are going to be long and exhausting, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. We'll have some tips to help you out here in a few minutes but you'll find your heat index peak heat in the afternoon. We're just getting into it two o'clock all the way through five, six o'clock. That's when we actually can make a run at it feeling like about 100 degrees outside. So hopefully a lot of us just stall out in the upper 90s. It's better than 100, but it's still going to be just downright hot and we really don't see a lot of that relief with nine o'clock. It's still feeling like the 90s. At least by 10 o'clock we drop into the 80s, but still that's mid to upper 80s at that 87 there. So we really don't cool out until we get closer to sun rise in the morning. So as far as heat safety, make sure you're checking in on your friends and family. Share some of these tips here. If you're working outside, take breaks inside or shaded areas at a minimum. If you don't have AC, call your friend up, call your family up, have dinner, invite yourself over. They're going to be thrilled to see you and they're going to be happy to make sure that you're staying cool here during the heat. Wear light colored clothing if you are headed outside and also make sure it's loose fitting. If you're sweating, you don't want your clothes sticking to you during this heat and also keep an eye on your kids. I know they want to play and they want to be out by the pool, but still make sure they're staying hydrated and everybody just has to make sure that they're pounding the water here this week to stay ahead of the heat. Also our pets and even the elderly, make sure we're checking in on them that they're staying cool and making sure that they are also staying hydrated and this is only the beginning. We do have the first alert weather days painted across the board here, you'll find that we have the 90s to go with it, the humidity that goes with it. And because of this environment, some pop up thunderstorms are going to be coming in. You can see tomorrow is kind of our better chance for some of that rain activity, but still just keep an eye to radar here for the next five or so days because we're still going to be watching radar into the weekend, though those first alert weather days do come to an end. It's still going to be hot, but at least the humidity and some of that air temperature does kind of back down a little bit, but still that is going to still support some of those thunderstorms. So it's going to be a busy week on the first alert weather app. So use that to combat the heat. Stay with WNEM TV five on air on the go and online for more news and weather updates.